a lot of military bases are still on or adjacent to Indian reservations, just like the Hawaiian occupied territory. Hawaii is the most occupied state, um, followed by Alaska, which just has a lot more territory to occupy. Uh, about 700 uh, different military sites that are still uh, full of ordnance, like that in Hawaii. And, um, you know, places like um, Nevada with a, a thousand test sites or, te you know, bombs that have gone off and countless. And, you know, one of the things that the Kohol Lobby story tells us to me, it says seven things. One is that the preeminence of the American military has a huge impact. And on a worldwide scale, the U.S. military is actually the largest polluter in the world. If you count all the weapons, you know, that are detonated and certainly, you know, uh, you know, the depleted uranium in the Gulf. That's a pretty significant impact, and we often uh, are insulated from that. We don't talk about the military, we're not supposed to talk about the military, as if it is something that is supposed to happen. But I just want to say that, you know, in my experience in the Native community, it is a very significant impact. Uh, and yet, at the same time, Native people, and I'm not sure about Native wives, but Native Americans are the highest rate of enlistment and the highest rate of living veterans. Um, very significantly impacted on our land and on our people. And all, and all of that. And so, you know, to me, that's a microcosm. The story of uh, Kohol Lobby, in many ways, is a microcosm of, of Indian country. And whether it's the Badlands bombing range on the Pine Ridge Reservation or, or, you know, the Shoshone territory, the significance of the military impact. But it is uh, really our story because there are military plumes throughout this country um, that underlie places. And we still, the military is exempt from a great number of environmental laws and has succeeded in continuing that. Um, and I think that that should be questioned. I think that they don't, they, don't have a, they don't have a right to contaminate the planet. To me, one of the things that is also important is, is, is the idea of uh, restoration. Why be mediocre if you could do something great? And I think that in some ways the stories that Toby has told uh, give us that opportunity to see that people who are like us, because they have hands and they have feet, and, you know, they're like us but they do remarkable things. And so, you know, we also have that someplace in us. But, um, you know, so to me, I, I really love the films.